Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I'm Steve Andrade. I'm Associate Professor of Computer Graphics at Johnson & Wales University. Sure, I, you know, universities are a, a conven conventional organization steeped in a lot of legacy and tradition, uh, but there are, uh, there, there's actually, a, this is a great time of great innovation in distance learning. There are a number of free universities that are being launched and, and running along. Um, but many, many universities have a digital component to all of the classroom activities that they do, and we do too. Everyone does that. I can tell you about my students. Many of my students are first generation university bound students. So going to college is a big thing for them and their families. Uh, and because of that, many of my students are sort of um, little entrepreneurs unto themselves. I work a lot with students who are in graphic design or computer graphics, and so they have a very marketable skill. And by sophomore and junior year, the, all these students have their own consulting businesses, they're starting their own little web companies, they have acquired um, really good internships with technology companies and design firms. So um, how, you know, how it's affected them, I think it has made them a little bit more career-minded, a little bit more um, knowledgeable about a competitive advantage in a uh, commercial world. Uh, but let me, I will say all this also is that uh, their experience is largely digitally based. Um, they really don't read uh, textbooks the way previous generations read textbooks. They don't read newspapers or magazines. So I'm a little bit concerned about how they get their information and where they get their information from. Um, I don't know that it is much, it is as a, an edited and curated experience as it was for previous generations. So um, with the good comes along some concern. Do I think technology education should be required in college? Actually, no, I don't. Um, I think there are many students who love technology and want to pursue it as a professional activity or as part of their career. They want to learn about uh, the back end of it or the front end of it, um, and that's all, that's all good. But um, I do think that we're, we're, we're losing a little bit of the um, arts experience and the hands-on experience um, with students in this generation. And I know this because we have started teaching some drawing classes and we're beginning, beginning to do 3D modeling in some of our classes and students love that. And there's a lot of research that shows um, working with your hands opens different neural pathways in your brain, opens different approaches to learning, um, and really provides a satisfying growth experience for people. So. Um, technology is great, but I think you've got to balance it with some hands-on stuff. My art, uh, I, I produce a range of different kinds of art. I'm, uh, I, my paintings are largely um, abstract with some figurative stuff embedded. I use different materials for a mixed media approach. Um, I work on um, tabletop size assemblage which is um, putting together 3D sculptures with found objects. And uh, if I may tell you, uh, my work was featured in a movie starring Tom Cruise by the name of Jack Reacher. Uh, if you watch for one millisecond as the, as the main actress walked by a wall, you could see my artwork on the wall. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I love Las Vegas. I just spent the past two weeks in Las Vegas doing a research fellowship at the university here. And um, it was, the research fellowship was on visual metaphor. And so when you step outside the city, either night or day, this place is lit up. And it is actually very, very visual, whether it's the architecture and the skyline, or certainly some of the neon and the signage around here, but also the people and the characters. I mean, this is a very, one of the things about Las Vegas is people are living life in Las Vegas. Um, it may be a, you know, a party life or uh, a street life or, uh, but whatever it is, people are vividly alive in this, in this desert city. So I love it.